Remember to subscribe our channel before watching this video. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey. We'll delve deep into the wilderness, into the fascinating world of one of nature's most intriguing creatures, the wolf. Wolves, known scientifically as Canis lupus, are the largest members of the Canidae family, which includes other species like foxes, jackals, and even our domestic dogs. Across the world, from the freezing tundra of the Arctic to the dense forests of North America and Europe, wolves have adapted to thrive in a variety of environments. To truly understand wolves, we must first talk about their social structure, which is as complex and layered as our own. Wolves live and hunt in groups known as packs. A pack is typically a family unit, often consisting of an alpha male and female, their offspring, and sometimes a few related adults. This pack structure is not just about survival but also about social connection and cooperation. Wolves communicate in a variety of ways, through body language, scent marking, and a range of vocalizations, including the iconic howl. A wolf's howl can serve many purposes, it can rally the pack, communicate their location, or warn off intruding wolves from their territory. Speaking of territories, a wolf pack is fiercely protective of its home range. These territories can vary greatly in size depending on the availability of prey, but they can span hundreds of square miles. Wolves patrol their territories regularly, marking their scent to signal their presence to other packs. Hunting is a group effort in a wolf pack, showcasing their remarkable teamwork. They primarily feed on large ungulates, or hoofed mammals, like deer, elk, and moose. Despite their reputation, wolves are not mindless killers. They are strategic hunters, often targeting the weak or ill members of a herd, which helps maintain the health and balance of these prey populations. Life in the pack also revolves around raising the next generation. Typically, only the alpha pair breeds, and when the pups are born, the entire pack takes part in their care. It's a testament to the tight-knit social bonds wolves form with each other. Despite their strength and intelligence, wolves have not always had an easy relationship with us, humans. Historically, wolves have been feared and persecuted, driven to near extinction in some parts of the world. This has often been due to misunderstanding and fear, as well as conflicts over livestock predation. However, it's important to remember that wolves play a crucial role in our ecosystem. They help control prey populations and, as the example of the reintroduction of wolves into Yellowstone National Park shows, their presence can lead to an increase in biodiversity and the overall health of the environment. So, as we come to understand more about wolves, it's clear that these are not merely dangerous predators to be feared, but complex, social animals that are integral to the natural world. It's our responsibility to respect and protect them, to mitigate the conflicts that arise, and to ensure that wolves can continue to thrive in the wild. They are part of the intricate tapestry of life on Earth, and our world is richer for their presence. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. I hope this discussion has shed some light on the life of a wolf and deepened your appreciation for these incredible animals. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insightful conversations about the natural world. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. Thanks for watching. Share it again.